Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. I'm Trudy. And I'm Dre. And together we are Beauty and the Beast. Today we're watching Vinland Saga. <laughs> So today we're jumping back into Vinland Saga Season 1, Episode 12, The Land on the Far Bank. Let's get it going. Let's do it. Oh my god. I've seen quite a few teeth. Let's mm -mm. ask him. Leave the man alone. He's just fishing. I don't think they want nothing for him but information. <laughs> Where is that? Where is that? What was it the six pack? <laughs> oh. He's cross eyed too? Ashirato! Uranuka! Oi! Ragnar san, Oshizuka ni negai masu yo. Mimi ga shigoto o shite iru toki wa mono oto o tatenai ki. Wow, wow the ears that way. Sono tongari atama ni iki o sase runa. Donna anbai da. Kachi to uma no koubun o kazu wa 500 chikaku. They didn't lose any men. <laughs> hmm. This guy's nasty with it, boy. Who are they asking help from? <laughs> That's all they think of. Them. I thought you were saying a, a, a sailor on, on land is weak. These guys are getting. It's like a baby, yeah. It's like a baby, they're getting restless. Oh, no, no. This is not going to be good. I hear footsteps. Hmm. That's a great strategy. Dismissed. そいつがどんな奴なのか、大物か小物か、利口かバカかパッと辛みただけで分かっちまうのさ。王子の辛みてな。分かっちまったんだよ。王者の辛じゃねえってな。だがよ、あれはまだガキじゃねえか。Is it ぐずぐずしてっと取るからに追いつかれるぞ。マジかよ。まだ真っ暗じゃねえか。うんうん。何をおざ。いや、I <laughs> 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 That's fucked up. His ears twitching. He's like, that's all I need. Who are these people? Assassin's Creed type. Right? Oh, he has a bow to them. The commander himself. Oh, that's the reinforcement. How many boats? Three? Wow, 
this guy looks like he ain't fucking around. <笑>あれは <laughs> イングランドから電話送りに願い立ってことですかイングランドにに比べ貧しい土地と言えるたつの小王国が拡挙する状態が数百年続いていたアシャラッドの救援要請に応じたのはそんな小王国の一つだった<笑> そんな小王国の一つだった。おめて使わすぞ、アシャラット。今頃トルケルメは川の向こうで剥がみしておるだろうて。トルケルを巻くのに協力してくれただけでもよしとしなけりゃ。ウェールズの地を歩けというのか。
羊は申し分はありませんあとはまあ若さに期待しています案外あのくらいのちょうどいいのかもしれませんグラティアヌスどもいまだ伝説を信じてくれますアルトリウス公が西の彼方のアバロンから戻られ古のブリタニアを復興なさるという伝説。That's crazy. 確かか。耳のやつはそう言ってるぜ。All the people of the sky のもの。Me, I don't know. 向かいご苦労。気づいたか。なぜわかる。部下に耳の良いものはおります。うんうん。だが、もう遅い。どうしたトロフィー。They're set up. <laughs> What's Thorfinn gonna do? <laughs> What'd he just feel? King Swine. I wonder if King Swine is Loki's father. He has the same kind of beard like him. Mm. What's this? That leaf? It looks like him, but he's completely bald. It is leaf. Well, why does he look so old? It's been years, though, babe. He left this guy when he was a baby. Like, Wait, is that fucking. Is that Iceland? Where he was? I'm confused. I'm confused too. That wasn't Thorfinn. Thorfinn's here. Who is being held up by rope? A Danish slave? He's ready. This boy's ready. Okay, yeah, let's go back and see yeah, that scene. I That's, uh, I don't know. The what mustache was, was, it was definitely leaves. leaves. Yeah, that's right. Now, what I'm trying to say is, where is he now? Like, yeah. We haven't seen him in a while. Is we haven't in, seen him since Stores was around. Is he in Wales, maybe? Gratianos. <laughs> that name is, uh, my God. Okay, so that flies over. Yeah. Okay, no, it's not It's not even an hour that flies over. It's ah, the leaf that flies over. They try and transition it. Okay, so they're showing you. everybody in their space. So we know these guys are in Wales. We know Thorfinn is over at the other side of the sea. Exactly. Thor Cole is at the other side of the of the, of the sea, yeah, exactly. He's still in England. Man, this guy has got some sense. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is... I don't know where this place is. This okay, is this King. is King Swine, right. Alright, where is the... Okay, that's definitely... It definitely looks like Lee. That's not Yilva or Helga. And no. Maybe it reminded him of Thorfinn. Where is he? He's on somebody's court. Okay, well, okay, so that has a dragon head, so we know that's a Danish. That's a. Oh, I didn't even put that together. Okay, yeah. That's so a Danish that's a, ship, because that, that's a dragon head. That we yeah, see there, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you're piecing it together. But they didn't come over on a Danish ship. So Leif got to England, I think. But the thing is, the, the the ship that the warship with the with the with the dragon head was one of Thor's old ships. Remember? Mm -hmm. So they captured it from Thor's, and that's why Thorfinn wanted to stay on it. When the guy was like, "Oh, I gotcha. thought you were supposed to watch the yeah. ship," he's like, "Thorfinn likes to stay on it. Just leave him alone. It's his father's." You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So we know that the Thor Thor's did have a dragon head ship. You know? Yeah. So I'm trying to figure out where Leaf is. Because the thing is, I that dream that Thorfinn had when he saw his town getting ravaged, like, was that real? Ooh. You know what I'm saying? Because I didn't see his mom, I didn't see his sister. Gotcha. Like, I, and, and Leif is, looks considerably older, you know what I'm saying? I don't remember seeing him, I, I, thought, I thought we saw him without the hat on and he had a full head of hair, but that was clearly like, you know. No, we saw him in the winter time, he, his head was covered. What well, I said in autumn, the leaves change colors, right? Yeah. So now he's he's the gray leaf. <laughs> I knew you had something coming. <laughs> I saw the setup. Man. Wow. 
So this commander now. So like he was telling about uh, Thorfinn about last time that the um, <coughs> the Saxons, the Saxons, and the Roman army and Britannia, and so this guy is a descendant of Britannia. This guy's a this guy uh, commander Gratianus. Mm -hmm. Grat Gra Gratianus. 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 Gratio Gratianus is, is a descendant of Britannia, so he'll never give in, you know what I'm saying? Because they, they were strong, they, live in, they lived in a, sort of an, a, an advanced society they, they used to live in, and they, they were defeated by the Roman Empire, but they are still warriors in, in, their, in their essence, you know? And now they're set up. So now, who, now the people know that the prince of the Denmark is coming through, you know what I'm saying? This guy tried to grant them safe passage, and now they're going to obviously take advantage and try and capture the prince and, you know, maybe end the war if, if one thing or, or you know, a trade for gold, jewelry or treasure, depending on if they're a clan or if they're like the main government, you know what right. I'm saying? But it looks like they're probably just one of the clans that, mm -hmm. that, that um, Gratianus and his clan share the space with, you know what I'm saying? But, um, man, fuck, it's uh, crazy. What else happened this episode now? Uh, they asked the priest the priest talking about love that was like honestly like that was a very very redemptive scene for his character because like you you saw him you know obviously the preacher preaching you know what i'm saying the priest okay. preaching and then you saw him um this priest drinking you know what I'm saying? Like, yes. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Obviously, Jesus, like they said, Jesus turned water into wine. This guy looked like he attended one too many last suppers. You know what I'm saying? So now, when they when you saw him literally like head in the battle, the man's like, they can't give me anything I want. Go, 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 go. So you're naturally thinking, oh, it's bro, this guy's up for the booze. The man said love. And just the way he, not even just the way he said it, the fact that he said love. You could understand from scenarios that you've seen in TV shows how somebody who had love, found love, lost love, could bury themselves emotionally so that they don't have to expose those nerve endings to feel those feelings again. Because love is as good as it feels when it's lost. It's as bad as it feels. You know what I'm saying? And these Vikings probably never felt that that in their lives you know and the and the fact that he described it in that in that fashion like the way he described it he, he described it in such like because everything is concrete silver gold women house barn field sheep like the ambiguity of emotional awareness is nowhere in their capacity exactly. of understanding but yet us knowing what love is you know that is a spiritual i mean that's an emotional if you can uh, emotionally attain that that is the highest that is the highest proudest thing you could ever you know what i'm saying it's almost like a well okay so if you can attain if you can attain love i mean that's that's the highest that seems like the highest achievement of man you know what i'm saying like because everything is love you know what i'm saying basically everything is love there's just you know weeds in the garden so hate is around but you know what i'm saying our world wouldn't progress progress forward without without love you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. without love there's no relationship without no relationship there's no procreation you know what i'm saying so love is the end all and be all so the fact that they think that all these material things that are part of their universe make up their universe was the incredible juxtapose of that statement like wow yeah, the viking that said yo keep going i want to hear more about this love. yeah that's it. this thing called love Cause that's, that's that's what Thor's that's what Thor's freaking abandoned ship, fifteen years ago. It was pretty much what went. That's to, what it kind of felt like. All right, this man fell in love, had a whole family, and then had all his warrior buddies thinking he was dead. You know. That's it. Because when Thor's was at war, he had a reason to survive. But when Thor's had a family, he had a reason to live. Exactly. Yeah. Bars. Oh, man. Huh? <laughs> what were you going to say? Oh, no. I was just going to say how we got to get out to the next one, but it's just when I, when I said that, I made myself laugh. <laughs> man. Sick series.
So I wonder if, like, because the thing is, I don't think, I don't know if Askeladd has a way out of this current predicament other than like he doesn't have like a thor coat but he has a thor fin you know what i'm saying like so he he can get out of this situation but how many of his men are making it out alive when they're being surrounded and ambushed by you know what i'm saying by the um by the 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 bow and arrows or was this even something that was maybe set up by the general because of the fact that he found out that he was carrying precious cargo, you know, Prince, exactly. Prince or Princess Canute. Ooh. We have we have yet it to could decide be a it yet. Setup. Exactly, the sword is double edged by its nature, and we've got to get on to the next one. So, thank you all for joining us today for this episode of Vincent Saga. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and don't forget to like the video. Let us know what you thought about the episode down in the comments, and be sure to go over to our Patreon and check out our full length uncut reaction or simply support our channel. I'm Judy, and I'm Drake. We're beating the beer. We're signing off with the next one. Peace.